Hey guys, Tony here and today I'm gonna show you how I pick the perfect base location in No Man's Sky. Let's get to it. So, you've already found the perfect planet and if you don't know what, that, uh, what a perfect planet is or how to find one, I have a video just for that. So look in the description or in the playlist uh, and, and uh, to, for, for those. But we've already found the perfect planet in this case a perfect arctic planet and we're ready to pick a base location we can only pick the base once so we have to choose carefully um, and what i usually do the first thing i do is i look for the planets that are around the the planet that i want to build on so the other planets in the same system in this case there's three planets in this direction and there is a moon so what I want is a, I want to pick a base location that's facing this moon and those two planets because they will be then consistently in my sky in my base's skyline all right so if, if I have a horizon I want to lay them in the horizon and then I will we'll have like very dramatic sunsets and sunrises because there, there's just going to be a planets uh, drawn into that uh, sunset okay and I'm gonna show you how right now so first we get an idea for their direction and then what we do is that we we fly to the planet that we want to build on in in a direction that we estimate that the horizon will line up with the planets that that we see so in this case I aimed it's it's just a, a random estimate but usually I what I do is I, I make the planets so that they're horizontal, all in the same horizontal plane, and then I line, land on the topmost part of the planet I want to build on. In this so that's what I just did. And we see there's one, two, and three planets. Okay, so this is a pretty cool layout, but I wanna lay them out kinda like this, okay? So that right now they would be in the same relation to my ship. Uh, uh, so I need to adjust the surface, okay, the angle of the surface so that it matches the the, the scene that I want to create, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly upwards and I'm going to fly towards the direction that's going to level out the surface, in this case this way. Okay, just a little bit and then you can just fly back down and, and look how that affected now once we're kind of like close i'm gonna show you how to really fine tune them so stay with me okay we're about to get close enough to the surface to be able to look and then let's take a look all right that's if if the daylight is making it difficult to see the planets you can use the camera mode aim downwards press the right thumb stick and it'll it'll position the sun underneath the the planet making it uh, nighttime and i'm looking but i only see one planet i guess i must have pulsed engine too far uh it's a little low so now what i want to do is i i want to raise this planet upwards in the sky because i believe the other two planets oh there's one there's another one it was behind a cloud you see uh, yes I, as I believe, the one of the planets is low and hiding be, below the horizon. So planets in No Man's Sky do not move. It's the sun that revolves around the star system. Okay, so the, if you if you position them in 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 a certain location, they will consistently stay there. Every, every time you you come back to your base, they will always be there. So I'm gonna move around, and I see another planet that we can. Oh. I think I teleported way too far, but we're gonna look again. Okay. Ah, look at that. Yes, yes. Now we see four planets on the on the surf on the as a sky. Okay, and we uh, even see the ring of the planet going all around into the from one edge of the horizon into the other so i like this base location and now i'm ready to find the place where i'm gonna put my base down okay so at this point i've already settled that this is kind of like the general coordinates that i want to build in because it has the the skyline that i want actually it's not the skyline that i want because look the planets once i re actually reach the surface 
they they look a bit too low hidden hidden uh, behind the horizon so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna f uh, teach you how to reposition them slightly in the in in the skyline once you're close to your coordinates so the rule is if you fly towards them they'll raise directly upwards in the skyline so hence if you fly away from them they will lower they will they will they will start falling downwards into the horizon so you can adjust them uh, if you fly horizontal to them they will stay in the same height but they will switch their angle so you can use that to arrange your angle and you can even get them to line up perfectly uh, in a horizontal against the horizon but I like the offset because it looks natural it looks a little bit more natural to have this offset um, but they are a bit too low to even see so we're gonna fly towards them and then fly downwards again and you'll see that they have been repositioned they'll stay in the same angle but then now they're higher up in the skyline okay so let's get close to the ground it takes a little bit but it's what it is there we go okay so now you can see they're not in the horizon but they're actually up a bit more they're higher up and we can still see them one is behind a cloud okay so I found a free landing so this is exactly the skyline that I want I want to be able to land and see the planets from the ground okay so now I'm gonna teach you the two places that I choose to land when I'm actually looking for a base I either land on a free land landing pl platform like this one these green rings that you see in front of me I call them free landing spots because when you launch again uh, from the surface you will not spend starship launch fuel all right so once I reach down I save my location this is a good place to save that way you don't you know in any chance anything happens you you will find this place again and I use my survey tool then to to see what resources it has it this base this location has a concentrated gas cloud a deep mineral deposit but it doesn't have an electromagnetic deposit so I'm gonna keep looking since I landed on a free landing notice that when I launch no starship fuel is consumed all right now the other place I do land that does consume uh, starship fuel is concentrations of a uh, biome specific harvestable resources like this like the star crystals that you're seeing below my ship right now I will land here and and see if this is a, d a decent spot because that saves me a lot of resources from having to build a greenhouse myself look at how many star crystals are ready for me to just harvest so if I make a base location here then I have already that uh, set up for me and and I don't have to waste time or resources in that oh look at that t-rex how cool is that yeah okay in this planet there's even a uh, there's a t-rex even cooler than this one so hopefully we'll see, we'll get to spot it but anyway so this location has a concentrated glass cloud that's a which is really good uh, uh, and a deep mineral deposit but it looks like it doesn't have uh, electromagnetic okay I but I'm gonna show you that very likely there is an electromagnetic deposit near in near close enough for us to 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 use it okay it's just right now we're not close enough so what we're gonna do in order to tell is we're gonna move towards the other deposits okay and see if in the in the distance that we move towards them we also move closer to an electromagnetic deposit to to register it okay so we're gonna fly in this location towards the concentrated glass deposit it's about 170 units away but we'll make it there in no time as we're flying we can also use the survey to tell if we're getting close or not here okay should be around here There we are. Okay. Here, we don't even need to analyze it. We're pretty much on top of the gas cloud right now. But we're going to check if, if there's an electromagnetic. There is no electromagnetic, okay? So, very likely, this spot doesn't even have an electromagnetic that we can use. So, I would just continue looking. We are already 
in a place where our skyline is defined. So m us moving just a few thousand units this way or that way will not change the skyline we have already designed. It's not enough to make that change. So I just randomly fly either towards the planets or away from them, depending on whether I want them a little higher or a little lower, because that way, you know, I'm not gonna eventually mess up the skyline. On the contrary, I'm making it better. So here's a free landing spot. So that's my rule. I just fly in one locate in one direction, uh, and I either land on a free landing spot or a, or a resource of crystals or star bulb or cactus. This base almost very close as well. Two deposits, but no electromagnetic. We could do the same thing again and get and, and move closer uh, closer to towards one of the deposits and and see if there is actually an um, electromagnetic because it, it may just be just far enough that we cannot register it but as soon as we move close towards the uh, one of the other deposits then we can register it and it looks like it's not the case. All right, this gas cloud is really far away, but far enough, far uh, close enough. Oh, there's the 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 other cool T-Rex. All right, nice, sweet. Okay, synthetic worms. We're gonna use this T-Rex, all right, to find the other. So for synthetic worms, all you need is mordite. Uh, where's the mordite? Okay, there's the Mordite. Really easy. There is one. Look away, guys. <laughs> right on, meaty chunks, Mordite. Okay, that's good. So mordite and carbon nanotubes is what you need for the for the synthetic worms. Let's process that. All we need is one. High capacity exosuit. Now we can tame it. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. So now the cool thing about the T-Rex or any other wild animal is that it'll auto walk for you. So you can just aim it in the direction. And even though it looks slow, if you sprint, it'll pick up speed. This one is not that quick. Oh, look, it's, it's picking up speed in there. We're almost there. Looks like nah, there's no electromagnetic gas cloud. But you get the idea. And oh, look, three of four of them. <laughs> Gonna make it daylight so that we can see them. Oh, sorry for that. All right, I, I, I think this is a pretty cool place to leave it. But, but yeah, that's the essence of it. You just keep re rinsing and repeating this cycle until you find one base location that has all three uh, resources, either a, a mineral, a gas, and an electromagnetic deposit. The class doesn't really matter. I'm gonna talk briefly about the class. Um, if you find an, because the deposits never expire, okay? You're never gonna run out of the resource. You're not never gonna d dig it entirely uh, d or depleted okay it's never gonna deplete the deposit um, so you can always scale up on drills and mineral extractors um, to maximize to make it to to make that deposit generate the exact rate of minerals that you want per hour um, so that's the difference between one one deposit and another one class uh, a C class deposit and an A class deposit the rate at which they they extract minerals so if you scale uh, up a C class it can generate the same resources as a as a small A class 
um, obviously it's, it's better for a CS class you know you re less resources you spend and if you actually scale it up uh, to that point it's gonna generate a crazy amount of resources so but ideally especially in survival mode when you where you only have 250 um, available units per stack it's not really appealing to to have a, a, a drill that generates you you know 10,000 units of uh, an item per per hour you, you only if you want to just directly sell them into a trade terminal but the problem is that you will break economy once you do that as soon as you 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 sell the first batch of 10,000 indium or activated indium you just crash the economy and every time you sell indium again on that same system uh, it'll sell for Le uh, only 20% of its value because it'll be down value by 80 so so you're gonna it's, it's not really good you know it's uh, you'll have uh, a lot of resources but but they're gonna be selling very 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 inexpensively and the alternative is to then get the 10,000 indium and jump from one station to another but now you're just carrying a lot of inventory weight that you might as well have with trade commodities those trade commodities are gonna sell better than the stack of 250 indium right so um, I don't I don't really recommend that you spend so much time hunting down for 3s drills or I've never seen that happen I've seen two S in the same location, but it's very rare. So if you find one S and then two C, that's great. If you find one A and two C, that's great. If you find a B and two C, just if you have three of them, it's a great location. Um, so alternatively to those, just you can also pick a location that, lo that looks good to you. Once you design the skyline, you can pick one of the mountains so that you can see a, a really a good uh, distance, amount of distance into the into the uh, panorama, you know, uh, because maybe the, the drill is not necessarily going to be in the most visually pleasing location. It's going to be randomly generated where where that deposit is. So you can always you can always just not even care about the deposit, design your planetary skyline and then pick a location that's near a lake or near a cliff or on the top of a mountain you know it's all it's all about creativity and and exploration and, and just having fun yeah it's not necessarily all about maximum min, min maxing okay but i want to show you what min maxing would be so that you have a you have the the full uh, range of possibilities available to you uh, you know you and and you know what's available but this should serve you to pick and design a really cool base. Um, and hopefully uh, you, you can share those bases that you build with me. Share them on Facebook or, or, or leave them in the comments, like anything. It, it would be great to see the, the kind of bases that you guys are building. So if you like this video, please hit the like uh, button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get alerts and share it with other people that you think might be interested in this uh, because if it helped you out it might help them so uh, and it also helps me out so very grateful that, that you uh, watch this video and see you on the next one guys bye